The pitch axis theory is a spectacular way to play with chords and modes together to create amazing sounds and colors. I'm going to show you in this lesson how to play little arrangements like Joe Satriani, and I'm going to teach you two ways to use the pitch axis theory in your own guitar songs to make amazing chord progressions and play with modes and colors. So let's dive in. So the pitch axis theory has not been invented invented by Joe Satriani, but surely popularized by him. And it's because he came from a jazz background and he was tired of following the rules where if you wanted to explore a new key, you had to play a certain set of chords to get to the new key. Uh, most of the times, the two, five, and the one. So you have a key, for example, and you play the two, five, one. So if you wanted to explore a new key, you had to play the two and the five of the next key so that you could land there. So it goes two, five, one, two, five, one. So he thought everybody is doing that, it's super predictable, and why couldn't I explore different scales and keys and sounds uh, in any way I want? So that's why he picked one note that becomes the pitch axis and everything is gonna revolve around that note. You can do everything you want around that note. Play different scales, different modes, different keys, as long as it stays there in the background to support everything. So in the intro right here, the pitch axis was the note E, right? Because in the backing track, we had this little beat like this. With the pom 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 pom, the E as the backing track. And he even doubled it by always playing the E note on the first string, open with all chords. So that is the chord progression from his song, Not Of This Earth, from his debut album. And he started with a chord shape like this. And since you can do whatever you want and change the modes after that, he just shifted that chord around the fretboard like this, from the, the fourth fret to the third fret, and again to the fourth, and to the fifth, right? With the E always going on in the background. So these chords are not related and they're not part of the same key, but the E makes it that it's gonna revolve around the E and you can use that to change the keys and the modes. So you can do it in two different ways. You can either pick any chord you want and then try to find modes that fit with that chord, or you could Pick the, the modes you want first and then find chords that are gonna fit with it. So I'm gonna explore both methods here. So if we go back to Not Of This Earth, what we have to do is to find out what kind of mode could highlight this chord. So if E is my pitch axis, I need to find what is the function of all of the notes in these chords. So this note right here, is the major third, right? So you can walk up your E major scale and find the notes accordingly. So one, two, three. So that's the major third. This one is the major six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one, seven. It's the major seven, right? So which mode has the major third, the major six, and the major seven in it? We have a few choices. We have the Ionian mode, which is the major scale. So that would work to highlight the three, six, and seven. But Joe Satriani chose the Lydian mode, which is his favorite. It's the same thing, but with a sharp four. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. So. On top of that, he used a Lydian. And then when we go one fret down, now we have the minor third, the minor six, and the minor seven. It makes sense because it's just one fret down, right? So the mode that highlights all of that is the Aeolian mode or a natural minor scale. Because it has the one, two, minor three, minor six, minor seven. Uh, so then we come back to the same chord, we can play Lydian again. And then this one. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, flat seven. So we have the four, the uh, minor seventh, and the one. So modes that have the four and the minor seventh, we have many of them. We could use Phrygian, Aeolian, Dorian, Mixolydian. Uh, in this case, he chose Mixolydian in this case. So now what you have to do is to learn all of these notes starting from the note E. So I'm going to give uh, the, some uh, really easy positions for you. So we start with the Lydian, so the note E here. On the ninth fret of the third string, it goes like this. And then we have Aeolian. We have Lydian again. And then we have Mixolydian. So you can kind of improvise changing the mode and changing the scale every time. Right? So you can do that on top of these chords. And if you want to learn the little tapping technique that I played in the intro, uh, it's reminiscent of, uh, I don't know if you know the songs of Joe Satriani, but Satch Boogie, right? Where he used the same technique, the open A is the pitch axis in this section. And then he goes and takes shapes and does whatever he wants with it even if that changes modes or keys all the times, right? It goes uh, something like this. It's just super crazy, that kind of part. So I did something similar with my tapping. So what I did is since my pitch axis is E, I did the tapping on the the first string right here, and I mapped out my modes on a single string instead. So I have Lydian. And then I have Aeolian. And the last one I needed was Mixolydian. Right, so what I did with the tapping is that I chose notes that are uh, characteristic of each of the mode, right? So the first one I tapped on the 11th fret, which is the major 7th. And then I used the 4th and 6th fret, which is the major 3rd. And the sharp 4, right, with the open, uh, of course, the open pitch axis. So that would highlight the Lydian mode uh, really, really well. For the Aeolian mode, I did one fret down for everything. So now it highlights the minor seven, the minor three, and the natural four. And then uh, instead of going back and doing the same thing, I came back to the fourth and sixth fret to highlight the Lydian mode, but I tapped on the sixth fret. Uh, the natural sixth. And then I came back on the 10th fret to highlight the minor seventh, but then I played the major third and the four once again. So if we do that all together with the little backing track. And then you can improvise by changing the modes with your little scale position, right? Like 
like Joe Satriani does. So that's kind of the first way you can go about it. You choose any chord you want, you play it through your pitch axis. So if your pitch axis is E, you need the E all the time. And then you're gonna find the mode that could work on top of that chord. You could do the opposite. You could start from the modes you want and then find a chord that is going to work with it. So that's what we're gonna see right now. So let's say now that my pitch axi axis is the A, the open A, right? And let's say that I want to go through Mixolydian first. I need to know what are the characteristic notes of Mixolydian that makes it Mixolydian. It's to have the major third and the minor seventh at the same time. So I need to open my A string and build a chord that's gonna have at least the major third and the minor seventh in the same chord. So I could have something like this. Because now on the fourth string, I have the minor seventh, and here I have the major third, and I have the perfect fifth. All of them work with Mixolydian. And now let's say that I want Lydian. So what I need for a Lydian chord is the major third, but also the sharp four, or what we call sharp 11 most of the times. So I could have a chord like this. Right, so now on the fourth string, I have the seventh. Here I have the major third, and here I have my sharp four. Then let's say I want Aeolian. So I need a minor third and uh, maybe a minor seventh also. So I could do something like this. Right, so now I have the minor seventh, I have the minor third, and I have the perfect fifth. All works with Aeolian, and you don't even have to use modes of the major scale. You could have like the harmonic minor scale or something like crazy like the whole tone scale, for example. If you don't know what the whole tone scale is, it's just you do one tone from one note to the next. So it's gonna give you something like this. Right? So if I play something, a chord through the whole tone scale, I need the sharp five, which you don't find in any of the modes usually, and then any other note that could work in the whole tone scale. So I could have something like, right? Because if I play my whole tone scale, so it works with it. So now I have a chord progression that goes like this. So now I just need to learn the little scale position to improvise with that. So uh, I, I could play it here. So the first one is Mixolydian. So it goes like this. Right, on top of the. And then I have Lydian. have Aeolian. And then I have whole tone scale. Right? Uh, I'm gonna put a little backing track and I'm gonna try improvising with those. Let's do it one octave higher. <laughs> ha 
So it's super fun. It's super unique. It's not chord progressions that you hear very often. And it really lets you explore and practice changing the modes and changing colors while you are playing. So thank you so much, Joe Satriani, for teaching us this concept. This is something that we should explore more. If you want to learn beautiful chord shapes that you could use in your pitch axis, explorations you can download my chord dictionary it's the first link in the description box below uh, I add chords to it from time to time when I make lessons on YouTube you can find beautiful add 9 and add 11 chord voicing 16 chord progressions great for songwriting super cluster chords that are really really lush and rich chords to play and I keep adding to it uh, um, when I make lessons on YouTube it's a really really nice resource so you could use that in your explorations uh, just enter your email and I'm gonna send you uh, the guide in a matter of minutes in your inbox so it's the first link in the description box thank you so much for watching you can subscribe if it's your first time on my channel for more lessons like these and I'm gonna see you real soon until next time au revoir <laughs>